on this memorable day for Paul Kelly and for Glenn Jakovic. Ryan Turnbull is his opponent, but it was uh, a one-horse race. Donnelly will defend. Picked up something like 14 marks against Essendon when he was playing a loose man in defence just a couple of weeks ago. Towards Stewie Maxfield, also nearing the 200 club. Maxfield will swing round onto the left foot, centering in towards half forward. The kick was excellent, and the mark is taken by Jude Bolton. Bolton's not so good. The diving attempt was made. Kemp tried to run away. Kelly did get his first touch. Turnbull picks it up and floats it high to the outer side. Saddington leads in the race, but Matera's very sharp. As Tony Lockett said, he's going to be one to watch this afternoon. Kick not good. Luff defends. He's got a big job. So turns all the Sydney defence with McIntosh starting down in that forward line this afternoon. McPherson comes away. He's on half back. Over the head of Goods and Jakovic, his opponent, takes the mark. And if the delivery in the Swans forward line isn't better than that, then Glenn Jakovic will take 15 marks. He's very good at just peeling off his opponent a bit and does that read the play very well. McIntosh getting early confidence with a mark but still a long way out. Crowd are usually latecomers here at the SCG and today's no exception. Stafford drops back. Gehrig wants it. Hasn't got it. Stafford. No, it's very important that uh, Stafford gets back and, and helps out the defence there today with, uh, with the absence of Andrew Dunkley today. Preswell versus Banfield too looks like a good ma matchup. And Bolton in the midfield as is Kemp for the West Coast Eagles. So some pretty good matchups going through the middle of the ground. Matthew Nix on uh, the outer side. Not kept in play by Nick Fosdyke. Played up forward this season on numerous occasions. He's got four goals to his name. That's going to be very, very close. He has got it. That's the first goal of the day. Comes wide towards O'Loughlin. Still on the halfback flank is Michael O'Loughlin a long way from home. Kicks up towards uh, centre wing. Reed couldn't take the mark. Taken off hands by Fosler. Oh, here's a goal come out. Celebrating 200 Paul Kelly. And he does with the first for Sydney. I think Adam Goods' job is really going to be run Jakovic around as much as he can. Comes wide to Saddington. Sneaks away from Mitchell. White goes in towards the pocket. Lovely play. Can be a tough pocket to kick goals out of. 30 goals, 14 for the season. Nothing tough about that. Yeah. Straight through the middle. Michael O'Loughlin getting his first goal for the day. That will no doubt help the confidence of Michael O'Loughlin. As Ruzi said, he likes to get a flying start. Morrison, a chance now for the West Coast Eagles. He's almost down on the half-back line. Chad Morrison drifting it back in towards the centre of the ground, taken by Mitchell White. He plays on quickly. The lead is on from McIntosh. Can he get there? That's an excellent mark just inside 50. And 52 oh. metres. Well, you've given him the huge <laughs> wrap. And that, what happened? Oh, that's the full back in. Oh. That's the full back coming out in his hand. Good pass. <laughs> Is out. Looks pretty good. Well done. Good kick. Morrison in the back pocket, taking the kick out. Looks towards Jakovic and Covert. There's a lot of red and white there, and waiting down is Maxfield. Now he likes this situation. Stewie for goal. He loves it. On the left foot, and it's a goal. Kemp will steady. The 92 club champion comes wider towards the half back line. Williams has got it. He's going to be caught. The umpire let it go, but he held it for a long, long time. Turnbull tried to slap it over the back. Kelly almost gave away a free kick. Quick little hand pass from Preswell. Very good towards McPherson. McPherson's long bomb. That's going to bounce through. That's a goal. Oh, well, there you go. That's a, an unbelievable goal. Probing hand pass, wanting Saddington. Finding him now as he looks towards the 50, in towards half forward. Maxfield was down doing the roving, but he got a bad bounce. Trying to storm his way through was McPherson. He's had a decent old quarter. Back to Maxfield again. Fosnike's hand pass over the top. Put his teammate under the pump. Pushes towards the line and picked up by Bolton. Running out of room is Jude Bolton, but he bounces it in towards full forward. Oh! And taken off the boot of Matthew Nix. I thought they were going to drag another one there for a moment. How quick was that handball from Mickey Alock? And that's a case the hand is quicker than the eye. I did not even see him, that ball leave it. Just watch it here. That Look at that. <laughs> is that a throw or a handball? It was even too quick for Robbie Allen. Caught Robbie Allen. Totally unawares. That's out of bounds on the full. And this is going to give Sydney another chance to score. And Wayne Swass on his left foot here. So he's on the right side. I'm yeah. not sure whether he'll have a shot here, Sandy. No, he's going to pass it off. And great pass to 
Schwebel. Has kicked three goals, three. And he's just snuck that in. And that's all you've got to do. And the juggler, Sandington, has lost it. The door will open for Mitchell White. White's 70 metres out. Stops and has a look in towards half forward. Not going for goal because Cousins has dropped down beautifully in the half forward. He spotted him and now he's going to have a shot. 40 out directly in front. Oh, Ben Cousins. Ben Cousins, sorry, keeping that. 22 on Friday and Cousins is a goal kicker. Schwoss's kick is a beauty. Sort of delivery they would expect from him around towards O'Loughlin who goes in towards half forward. That's another excellent kick. Sydney looking very good at the moment. Here's the kick. He's done it again. So it looks as though the margin will be 21 points Jets at the first time. O'Loughlin too far out to score. Lewis calling for it in the hole. Goods calling for it long, but he elects to go short. And finds Matthew Nix. Nix is a long way out. Goods didn't fly. Bolton went crashing through. There's a snap by Creswell, and it was flicked through for a goal anyway by Goods. He might have already been there. Steam's clear. Kicks in towards the middle. Stafford showed courage, backing into the pack. Kemp has been pretty quiet. He gives it across to Banfield. This looks dangerous. McIntosh is at the back. So McIntosh shooting for goal. An important kick for the West Coast Eagles as he rides it back and kicks the goal. Goods and Jakovic again. Goods trying to take it with the one hand. Not successful. Kemp needs to fight. Banfield almost threw it away. Here comes Creswell taking the hand pass. That was from Nix in towards goal. It's there. Goes towards Lewis. Now he's going to be well outnumbered here. Almost three to one. Williams gives it off towards Morrison. He looks in towards half forward. Suddenly a little bit of urgency as Embley takes the mark. Plays on now, outside 50, in towards Gehrig and Co. He's been very quiet early on. McIntosh has been the live wire up forward. Here's a kick in towards full forward by Reid. That looks much better. Chops his way clear. Burst through half-back, setting up the hand pass. Off it goes towards Darren Creswell. Wider towards Kelly. Kelly takes a mark and away he sprints. He beats one, pops it over the top towards Maxfield, who followed play down, it's got to sit for him. In trouble, may go back, and he does. Still 60 metres, 70 metres from home. The pass is short, but it's effective. And now they've got an opportunity of kicking a goal through Matthew Nix, who has yet to kick one today, as luck has a spell. Matthew Nix, kicking for his first goal from 48 metres. It's a, well, it's a great kick. What a goal! Again, they open up a handy lead, 27 points, it was 28 at quarter time. Stafford flicks it down towards Kelly, around the body he goes, up towards Lewis. He almost held it, almost. Pressure now as Reid tried to take it out, picked up by Fosdyke who was on him, does well to Maxfield, Stewie's kick, watch out for O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin, 40 metres out, should kick a goal. Seymour, wide to the outer side. Sydney a chance to go up towards Goods, marks in front of Djakovic. Shows his athleticism as he swings around. Beautiful kick to Schwoss. Wayne Schwoss for goal. He kicks it. That ball is going to be kept in play and Sydney should be able to come away towards Maxfield. Morrison may have other ideas. Maxfield gets a kind bounce. Very kind. He can slap it along the boundary line and keep it going, and he does. Gets it down towards O'Loughlin and Gehrig. Jakovic also comes charging at it. Look at the skill of O'Loughlin as he gives it to Creswell. Creswell puts him inside 50, and the diving mark is taken by them. Plays on. Sydney are killing him at the moment. Centering kick finding Matthews. And Matthews will go back and hopefully join the goal kick because there's been nothing wrong with his game either. And he's kicked only... Uh, one goal, so this will be a memorable moment for him. It will be a memorable moment. Not a lot of confidence as he kicks down towards centre wing. A man in front was Jared Crouch. Couldn't take the mark. Matthews has been everywhere so far today. 
Cousins twists beautifully out of trouble. Gives it across towards Embley. Embley finds Simmons. Great smother by Seymour. Off it comes to Lewis. Away goes Dewey Maxfield. Hand pass just, well, in the end it's going to be okay because Matthews had the ball on the string and it comes to him. A low pass in towards the forward line. Thank you very much, says Nick Fosdyke. Yes, he eventually does pick it up and kicks the goal. Clever little kick because uh, it sits nicely for Creswell who tumbles a not so pretty puck over the line on the foot. Well that's as ugly a kick as you're ever going to see that plugger from uh, Darren Criswell. I've seen him kick some ugly ones at training but that's probably tops it. That was commonly known as a helicopter that one. <laughs> I think that was the reverse helicopter. <laughs> Simmons. He can kick them all though Criswell. <laughs> Might have been the one bladed helicopter. <laughs> oh dear. That looks like Donnelly at the bottom of that pack. He spent time on the bench too, gives it across to Morrison. That's a better looking approach to goal. And Chad Morrison gets a much needed goal. G, back to you. Unbelievable. So here we go into the second half and Mitchell White, a very quiet first half, gives it off quickly towards Cousins and Donnelly. Back towards Cousins. Sorely, they can start with a goal, a chip in towards full forward and it should result in a goal. And it's going to be Matera who will go back and take the kick. And they were the players, in fact just about every one of those players in that passage apart from Cousins were the ones who have been relatively quiet in the first half. Well he's got the numbers around him and he uses them. Matthews and Cress will combine. Matthews is having a field day here at the SCG today. He bounces his way through centre now. Gives it across. Creswell's on the end of the hand pass. Down loves a goal. He's 55 out. He kicks towards goal and he's put it through. Sensational play from Sydney. Good sets himself to come over the top. Lewis was there. Oh, beautifully done to Schwoz. Sensational. Schwoz was alone. Fosdyke has done some very effective work. This is Creswell. And you wonder if it's perhaps the end of an era with the West Coast. They're going to miss the finals, it would appear so now, for the first time in a decade. And an injection of uh, new young blood is required to take them to the next step, but all that lies ahead. In the meantime, Sydney have it in the forward line. Is that a mark? Is that a mark to Ryan O'Keefe? He wants it, but he's not going to get it. Bit of a 50-50 there. A bit hard to really pay that on a mark. There's probably three or four players that had their hands on there, I think, Ruzi, wasn't there? Yeah, look, big pack of players. Yeah, I think there's, yeah, I think there's, there's a full blooded yeah. fist there. So, I mean, sometimes those marks get paid, but that's a good decision by the umpire just to ball it up. Yeah. Goods. Oh, look at that by Adam Goods. That is magnificent play. Once again, there's Sandy coming into the forward line for the Eagles in. McIntosh was on the lead, but the kick from Casey Green, I think it was, was uh, left a bit to be desired. And I think that's really been the story the whole day. They just haven't been able to find good moving targets on a regular basis down in their forward line. It is a huge kick, and you, in fact, use a pen because you won't have to rub it out. Rambley goes off for a spell and Simmons comes back out onto the ground for the Eagles. O'Connor gets it away. Here's a chance now for Sydney again. A little chip over the top. Well, it was almost uh, lairising with that ball on that occasion. But it won't matter. They should kick a goal. And Ryan O'Keefe celebrates with a six-pointer. And I think that would be his first goal in, uh, Correct. in his league career. So that'll be a moment he'll remember for a long time and obviously that number was uh, quite famous for the Swannies and kicked a few goals and uh, did a few other things in it today I guess at the, uh, the Sydney Swans number 39 reason. Remember who wore that? I tell you what, that fellow's shorts, Ryan O'Keefe's not quite as tight as the other bloke that wore on that. Warwick would, Warwick would have fitted into one leg of those. Three yeah. kicks. Just the five possessions for Mitchell White. He is a quality player, just occasionally you do have those down days and let's hope for Mitchell White uh, he'll bounce back pretty quickly. McIntosh uh, played on and did well because he had Donnelly waiting down there as the rocket stands by to head down to his charges at three-quarter time. Andrew Donnelly should go back and kick a goal for the Eagles. Good vision from McIntosh there. He's been the sole hand in the forward line. Good vision to get the ball on quickly and find Donnelly one out in the square with Troy Love. And I think that Ben Matthews just came off the ground there. I, I think probably the best he's got player on the ground. I don't know whether... <laughs> Absolutely puffed, and that's a goal to Donald. Metropolis to the outer side. Stafford, a good mark. Greg Stafford puts them back inside. 50. Kelly over the back. That's what Sydney fans want to see. 
The big and rumor I think is he's done it. He has kicked it. He could have a new nickname. It could be Chopper. His game today, too, Sandy, has been particularly good. Brett Seymour, really steady across half-back line. His decision-making has been good and his skills have been fantastic. There's Paul Kelly again getting right into this game now. Arm at the target. Fantastic pass to him. He's passed at 50 metres and, uh, and found Robbie Ahmed on the lead. And uh, Robbie spent quite a fair bit of today on the bench, uh, but usually a noted good goal kicker, and uh, this one's certainly well within his range From too. 47 metres, lovely looking kick, but just going across the face, and it goes! Thank you very much. Number three. Brad Seymour kicks towards Adam Goods, who floats across the front of the pack. 45 degree angle, 48 metres, it's coming back, it's coming back beautifully. That's number four for Adam Goods. I think the pleasing thing on, uh, on Rodney Eads' behalf today will be the fact that uh, the Swans have gone right on with the job. They haven't got five or six in front and sort of gone to a walk. They've really continued, the pressure's been on there. They've been chasing, harassing, tackling the whole day and uh, they've really set up a terrific lead and look like going another six points ahead here. Well, that's just wonderful play from Maxfield and Creswell finishes it off. We're doing it for Kelly in his 200th and we're doing it in style. Mitchell White, a little chip up towards Andrew Donnelly. He's unable to get a hand on it. And Matera is at the back, but there's been a whistle. He's going to come back to Donnelly. Yeah, they really need to fly the flag now, the West Coast Eagles. It's, what is it, 38 scoring shots to 16, so they've been completely outplayed, but they really, it looks like a 50-metre penalty too there to Ryan O'Keefe. I don't know whether they may have said something to the umpire there. And has kicked the goal. Very, very quiet today, Matera. Just six kicks and a couple of hand passes. But he goes in towards full forward and Donnelly takes them. Yeah, look, there's no question the way that uh, the goal there to uh, Donnelly. So goal number three. Back in the middle with just uh, over 11 minutes remaining in the match. Maxfield leaves it. Clean bowls a couple. Pushed down towards half forward. Casey Green gets the chance. He gives it away to Matera. Matera is inside 50. Beautifully done towards Cousins. That's better by the West Coast Eagles as Ben Cousins puts it through. Something we haven't seen for a while either, Ruzi, is the wave. No, exactly. So obviously the crowd's enjoying themselves. Paul Kelly's turn of the game. The team's 10 goals in front. So the Mexican wave's going around the ground. I'm yeah. a bit like you though, Sandy. I, I would have thought for Paul Kelly's 300, we, we would have got close to, to, to 30,000 today. So it's a little bit disappointing from the, uh, the Swans fans. They didn't come out and support the, the great uh, Sydney captain. Laugh goes short, bolted. You'd think he'd be coming back out on the ground again pretty quickly too. There's only uh, nine or ten minutes left in this game, and uh, let's hope that Paul Kelly gets back out on the on the ground and finishes uh, the game off. They really are getting into it now, aren't they? <laughs> Here's Bolton from 48 metres, goes close to the man on the mark. There's another one. He joins the goal kickers. Doesn't quite find him. Creswell is lurking there as well. Seymour also there. Simmons scouting the pack, but it's going to come away and they will clear it. This is Andrew Embley. Embley wide to the outer side, finds a Matera, but it matters not, it's all over. A big, big victory to the Sydney Swans. 22-19 to 12 goals, eight. Now thanks to Andrew Dunkley for joining us today. And Sydney fans, we hope to see you back in two or three weeks time. Yep. Quite good to see you again. We hope you've enjoyed it here from the SCG. Sydney resounding winners, 151 to 8.